dear friends this is my tutorial 42 in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to generate wave function files using gaussian 09 or gaussian 16 software so this is the phenol structures i'm going to generate wave function of this phenol molecule so before going to generate your uh, wave function file so you have to optimize your system first so this is the phenol optimization folder i will show you that input file using gauss view and also using notepad plus plus first i will show you with notepad plus plus so this is the phenol optimization input file so this is the percentage chk equal to you have to put the name of the system under dot chk then you have to mention your memory and the n flow shared this is very important if you are doing linux system this may be very 6 mw means 6 million words so n flow shared means we are going to share two cores for this calculations so then you have to mention percentage uh, this abstract then b3 lip theory so then this is a general keyword you have to mention then you have to put optimization frequency so this is the important then you have to give one space then you have to give the name of the system phenol so here you have to give space then you have to mention the total charge of the phenol the phenol total charge is zero then you have to mention spin multiplicity so if you want to know more how to calculate spin multiplicity you can visit my earlier video so i have created a one video for uh, how to calculate spin multiplicity for a neutral compound anionic and a radical also just you can visit that video you will understand more easily then you have to mention that Cartesian coordinate of the phenol. So this is we can construct easily. You go to your uh, Gauss view software just to make it benzene. Then you can add OH molecule in that H position. You will get your uh, phenol molecule. Then you can save as a GJF file. You will get this Cartesian coordinate. Then you have to give space. Then you have to put water that are present in the molecule here. Carbon, H and oxygen is there. After the oxygen you have to put zero. Then you have to put the basis set for this system 631 gist i'm using for this light molecule light molecule means carbon nitrogen oxygen sulfur fluorine chlorine this and all the uh, light atoms then you have to give four star four star means end of the basis set then you have to give some spaces you know then only calculation will run without a error otherwise you will get some error that's all so i will show you this uh, file using uh, gas view so open your gas view so just to drag this input file here you can see this is the phenol molecule this is we can simply easily we can create this is the simple molecule so then we have to submit this system for a geometry optimization and frequency calculation this is the optimized output file for the spinner so I will show you that uh, energy sundial using this gas view on the vibrational frequency also. So this is the optimized phenol system. So if you go to result, you will see summary. If you click summary, you will get that. Uh, so what are the calculation we did? We did the optimization followed by the frequency. Just it will give the frequency here. So we used b 3 theory. Then this is that uh, general basis. Charge is zero. Spin multiple singlet solvation none this is the total charge of the this system then this is the polarizability this is a dipole moment the point group is cs so you will get this kind of things so if you want to see vibrational vibrational frequency of this system you can also see go to result just click vibration you will see this uh, small window here you can see start animation if you click start animation it will start just you have to uh, see started animation so you can click second so it will see different kind of uh, vibrationals we are observing so if you go down you can see this oh vibration so likewise we can see so then we can stop this one and we can close it so we now we will save this cartesian uh, optimized cartesian coordinate for wave, wave function generation uh, input file so first uh, now we have to save this file go to file and save optimization uh, this is the optimized Cartesian coordinate so w f n fault so we are going to do wave function calculate creation calculations so that's all so we have saved our optimized Cartesian coordinate so we are going to use this Cartesian coordinate in order to get our wave function files 
so I already did that wave function calculation using this using this optimized Cartesian coordinate this is the wave function calculation folder so this is the wave function calculation input file so I will show you that we'll open with notepad plus plus you will find like that so just uh, similarly do optimization just you have to mention this uh, uh, three so here th just I mentioned that a final wave function that means I am doing wave function calculation to know that I just mentioned if you want you can give whatever you want then memory also same only the info shard same theory same up to here the same so here only we have to do some important things output equal to wfn so this is the keyword to generate the wave function file so you have to put output equal to wfn that's all then you have to give space similarly the name of the system then uh, you have to give space then charge and spin multiplicity this is the optimized Cartesian coordinate of phenol so then you have to give space then you have to put what are that I'm present in the molecule then zero then you have to put that uh, basis set for this calculation 631 g star you are using always so then you have to give four star then you have to give two space if you give uh, after giving that uh, two space you have to type phenol dot wfn so the name of the file name is phenol dot wfn so you have to give this one then you have to give some space then you can save so if you give this file name here you will get your wave function file into the scratch folder so i will show you in that crash folder this wave function file also so now we can submit this calculation uh, for a generation of wave function file so after completion of this one we will get this output file so we no need this one so we want only the uh, wave function file so i will tell you how to get um, how to get that wave, 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 wave wave function file from that scratch folder so even though we will see this uh, wave, wave function calculation output file so this is the one so we are giving this wave, wave function equal to output equal to wave function so if we go down we will see normal termination of Gaussian 09 calculation that means our cal wave function calculation completed without any error so now I will show you the location of wave function file so just I copy pasted here just I will show you then to the scratch folder so go to your uh, C directory go to C directory go to that uh, 09 uh, Gaussian 09 installation folder go to scratch from the scratch folder you can find phenol.wfn so this is the wave function file so it's saved as a uh, uh, the name what we mentioned in that uh, name in the in input file so same name it will generate a here phenol.wf that's all so we can use this wave function file for so some property calculation later video i will tell you how to what are the uses of this wave, 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 wave function files so that's all this video so we will see you next video some good topic So thank you for watching my video. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment and share and also please click the bell icon for a future video update. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy and also please subscribe and share to your friend my channel. Then only I can make more videos interestingly. So thank you so much.